Today on Mana Studio, we're going to look at how to stream to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Welcome to Mana Studio. My name is Nathan. With me as always is my tech director, Ronald, back there getting this Christmas on. You can see I got the lights up. I'm about to do some Christmas live streams. I mean, doesn't Christmas just make you want to live stream? No? Is that is that just me? Oh. Well, we're going to talk about it anyway. We're going to talk about how you can stream to both YouTube and Facebook at the same time using Caster. Caster.io. So there's a couple of services that multi-stream or simulcast or whatever you want to call it, streaming to two different places from the same encoder. Uh, Restream.io and Caster.io, that's Caster without an E, .io are the two kind of big ones that do just that. Now there's also some encoders and services that, that uh, multi-stream inside of the encoder or software or app or whatever you're using. Um, and if you have one of those, you probably know about it. But if you're using something like OBS, which I know a lot of people on here use to stream, then you're going to need a separate app or service to be able to stream to both YouTube and Facebook. OBS cannot do that natively. So today we're going to use caster.io. So I actually talked to the people at Caster about my channel a little bit, and they know my channel tries to serve small churches. So this is cool. They actually gave me a five-month subscription to give to one of you. So if there's any small churches out there that could use five months of Caster for free so you can stream to YouTube and Facebook and Twitch, I guess, if your church is really gamey. I don't know. Anyways, let me know if you could use that subscription in the comments below. You don't have to do anything. Just leave a comment. Say, hey, I could use that. And if there's more than one of you that wants it, which I assume there probably will be, I'll pick one of you randomly. I'll pull your names out of a hat, a Santa hat, because it's Christmas. So I'm going to actually be using this on my live stream tonight. I'm going to be talking about weird song lyrics with the Soul Felt It's Worth guys, Cameron and Preston. So I'll test that out on my channel tonight, and I'll let you know how that goes in the comments as well. But I've already tested out Caster because I never live stream without testing out an app first. Don't ever live stream without doing a test first. Something will go wrong. So I've tested out Caster. Um, and that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to show you how to create an event and how to link it to Facebook and YouTube. And then we'll test it out and see how long it takes and how well it works and all that sort of thing. So let's get straight to it. All right. So this window here on the left, the blue one, that is Caster. So once you log in, this is what you'll see. This is your dashboard, I guess you call it. I don't know what it's officially called. We'll call it a dashboard. Uh, and this is where you'll find all your live streams. So you see... That's the one I have scheduled for tonight. Say what? That's what we're calling it. So we'll create new. And you'll see several options depending on which plan you have. So you want to select multi-stream. That's streaming to different places like YouTube and Facebook. The new live stream is to actually host your own live stream. So if you want to put the live stream directly on your website, I know some churches might want that option. We're going to go with the new multi-stream because we want to stream to Facebook and YouTube. Then we'll name our stream. This is just what it shows up on on Caster. This isn't what it will be on Facebook and YouTube. So we'll say multi-stream test. Did I spell that right? Yeah. Hosting region. I'm in central time zone. So I'll select that and then save. And now we're actually at our multi-stream test stream headquarters dashboard event area i don't know what to call these things so how caster works is your encoder like obs say that's what we're going to use today obs will stream to caster so you're not streaming to facebook and youtube from obs you're streaming straight to caster and then caster will take that stream and send it to whoever you specify on caster so here in the stream source setup, this is what you're going to give to OBS. So right here is the uh, URL you'll enter into OBS as where your stream is going to. And this is the streaming key you'll enter in OBS where you're streaming to. And then once you start OBS, you'll see the stream come in here. 
where it says waiting to stream. And then you can send it out from Caster to other places like YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Mixer. I don't know all the places. There's lots of places. So to get those places, we're going to go over here to add platform. That's how you get to the places where you're sending your stream to. So we're going to add to platform. We're going to add a YouTube event. I've already created a YouTube event for this test. So you can either set it up manually by entering the server URL and the key, or you can connect straight to YouTube events. Uh, we're going to connect straight to YouTube events because it works really well. Select myself and reawaken him's channel. It'll give you a list of channels, allow caster to do all this stuff. Okay, then I'll X out of this window and it'll connect. There we go. And now I can select my event. These are the events you've already created. I'm selecting multi stream test. That's an event I already created on YouTube and it'll bring in the description and the stream title, create platform. All right, so now we have a platform, YouTube, you can see right there. We're gonna add another one, add platform. And you can see here, there's a lots of platforms. Most of them I've never heard of, but you can see some common ones like Ustream, Livestream, Vimo, Steam, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Periscope, and a bunch of others. So next I'm gonna add Facebook. So Facebook's a little different. It's got the same options. You can do it manually with the server and the key, or you can connect directly to Facebook. For this one, I'm actually gonna do it manually because if you connect to Facebook Live on this, whenever you start your stream, it will go straight to your Facebook page that you specify. You won't get to preview it in Facebook. It won't go to Facebook's nice little producer window. Um, you don't get any of that. It just goes straight to your Facebook page. You can't schedule and use that either. And I am scheduling my stream on Facebook. I have the one scheduled for tonight. So to use a scheduled stream on Facebook, you have to enter the server and stream key manually. So we will do that. So here's my Facebook producer window. And if you scroll down, use stream key, then you can see the URL and the stream key here. I probably blurred these out so you can't stream to my channel. So we'll copy the URL, put it in the URL, copy the stream key. Paste in the stream key, then create platform. Okay, you can see now we have Facebook Live. So one of the problems with this is if you're putting in the Facebook Live event manually, like I just did instead of doing the connect with Facebook button, you can't see Facebook live stream chat in this chat overlay window. I talked to the support about that. It's just an issue with how Facebook and Caster talk to each other. Unfortunately, if you schedule your events beforehand on Facebook, you won't be able to see the Facebook live chat in Caster's chat overlay window. All right, so now we have our YouTube and our Facebook live in Caster. And hopefully we've added this stream key and uh, URL to OBS. If we've done all that, we are ready to start streaming. All right, now let's actually do our streaming test. Uh, my little window down here is gonna disappear just because the way I have to set things up, but I'll be back. Okay, let's do our live stream test. This looks like a disaster, doesn't it? You have to have a lot of windows open. Luckily, I have two monitors, so it's not quite this messy, but I need to show it all on one screen for you. So let me do the rundown. Up here we have Caster. Down here we have OBS. Right here we have YouTube Live Event. Right here we have the Facebook Live Producer window. So, I'll start streaming from OBS. I'll have a timer up and we can kind of see how long everything takes, see what it looks like, etc. So here we go. So step number one, start streaming from OBS. Let me start my countdown. Then I'll hit start streaming. And it'll take a little bit, but you should see that pop up up here in the caster window when it's ready. The timer of timiness will tell us how long that takes. Okay. All right. So we see it's up 
in the caster window. It took about 15 seconds. So now it's coming into caster. OBS is sending the signal to caster. Caster is not yet sending the signal out to Facebook or YouTube. You can see we have stats up here. I really like that. Um, my uh, bit rate is set at 2500, so it's really good right now. Got the full HD and 30 frames per second. All of that's exactly what I wanted. Those are my settings in OBS. All right, so to actually start sending them to Facebook and YouTube or whoever you have selected, you click this little button and it will turn green. You can also toggle all to do them at the same time. I'm going to toggle all so we can see uh, it send it to both at the same time. So now let's send it out. So once you hit this button, like so. Now it's live. It's going out live to YouTube and Facebook. Uh, it looks like I hit it at about 350. Oh, it went to Facebook really quick. You can see it's up on Facebook now. Um, YouTube says it's live, but I don't see my countdown. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so YouTube's a bit behind. Um, one thing you'll notice is that YouTube is live. This is going out live on YouTube right now. So it automatically started streaming on YouTube. On Facebook, I'm still in preview. I haven't hit this go live button yet. So when I'm ready for Facebook to go live, I hit go live on Facebook, like such. And now, face, well, once that little bar goes, Facebook will be live. All right, so now we are live everywhere. As you can see, one of the tricky parts about live streaming is it's all <laughs> at different times. So this in OBS is the real time. Uh, this is what you'll be doing. And you can see YouTube is that far behind and Facebook is that far behind. So <laughs> a bunch of things, 10 seconds off. You can see Caster's really close. So Caster seems to be about two seconds behind. Then Facebook is about 10 seconds and then YouTube about 15 to 20 seconds behind. But it's up and running. And that's it. That's how you stream to both YouTube and Facebook using Caster. It's working great. And then when you're done, uh, you can end it a hundred different ways. You can stop the streaming on OBS. Uh, that will end it going to Caster, therefore end it going to YouTube and Facebook. But you might have some leftover bits on YouTube and Facebook. So what you probably want to do is end them first on Facebook and YouTube, then Caster, then OBS, go in backwards order. So we'll end our live video on Facebook. Yes, I want to end. We'll end our stream on YouTube. Yes, I want to end. So now I'm not actually live anywhere. Now I can turn off both of my streams on Caster. Now it's not sending anymore, even though I already ended them. Then I'll stop my stream on OBS. Once you hit those end buttons on YouTube and Facebook, then you're not live on those anymore anyway. All right, so that's how to stream to two places at once using Caster. Uh, we streamed to YouTube and Facebook and streamed from OBS. I think that's probably a pretty common setup for small churches. And I know it looked like really intimidating, like a foreign language with all the stream keys of this place and that place and URLs to this place and that place and what goes live when and when goes live where. And it it is intimidating. And the first time I opened up and set everything up, I was like, this is crazy. But then I tested it and then I just did it, tested it again right there. Like that was only my second time using it. And I already feel pretty confident about it. I feel like I'll have no problem with my uh, first live stream tonight. And again, I have that five month subscription to Caster uh, to give to somebody. So if your small church or just you needs to stream to YouTube and Facebook at the same time, let me know in the comments below. Just say, yep, I could use that. Uh, and I will choose somebody randomly and you'll get a five month subscription to Caster. So again, thanks Caster for that. That's all for this week. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope it was helpful. Good luck with your live streaming and I will see you back here next week.